In the late 1970s, a peculiar incident took place that left many baffled and questioning the nature of time itself. Picture the scene. The disco era, flared jeans and vinyl records were all the rage. Amidst the hustle and bustle, a quaint hotel stood in a nondescript town. This wasn't just any hotel though. It was soon to be dubbed the Time Slips Hotel, a name that would send chills down the spines of those who heard it. In the year 1979, the hotel became the stage for a series of inexplicable events, events that would challenge our understanding of the world. Guests reported bizarre experiences, time seemed to fold upon itself, and the ordinary became extraordinary. Whispers of the impossible became commonplace. The story that follows is not for the faint-hearted, it's a tale that defies reason, a tale of the Time Slips Hotel. Stay with us as we delve into the depths of one of the most perplexing mysteries of the 20th century. Our story begins with an ordinary hotel in an ordinary town on an ordinary day. Imagine, if you will, a nondescript hotel nestled in the heart of a bustling town. Picture it as the kind of place that offers a comforting predictability, the kind that soothes the weary traveller. This is a place where the wallpaper whispers stories of the past, where the creaking floorboards hum a familiar tune, and where the scent of freshly brewed coffee wafts through the hallways as dawn breaks. The staff, an eclectic mix of individuals, each with their own tales, carry out their duties with practised ease. There's the seasoned concierge, his eyes twinkling with a thousand stories, his hands deftly sorting through keys and mail. The housekeepers move like wraiths, their presence felt only in the pristine rooms they leave behind. The cooks, immersed in their own symphony of clattering pots and sizzling pans, create culinary magic that delights the guests. Speaking of guests, they too form an integral part of this tableau. Business travellers with their crisp suits and brisk walks, families on vacation with their boisterous laughter and wide-eyed wonder, star-crossed lovers stealing away for a weekend, and lone wanderers seeking solace, all find a temporary home within these walls. Days pass in a rhythm, a dance choreographed by the ticking clock and punctuated by the chime of the reception bell. It's a rhythm as predictable as the sunrise, as reliable as the changing seasons. Yet, within this picture of normalcy, there's an undercurrent, a subtle hum that something is amiss. It's in the occasional double-take of a guest, the fleeting look of confusion on a housekeeper's face, the lingering pause of the concierge as he hands over a room key. These are but the faintest whispers, easily dismissed as figments of an overactive imagination. But as we all know, appearances can be deceiving. The day was progressing as usual, until the inexplicable happened. The sun had reached its peak in the sky, casting long, languid shadows across the lobby of the hotel. The humdrum of everyday life was in full swing. Guests were coming and going, staff bustling about with their tasks. Everything was as it should be, or so it seemed. Then, in a blink of an eye, the ordinary took a detour into the extraordinary. One moment, the hotel's receptionist, a woman of steadfast punctuality and routine, was checking in a new guest. The next, she was standing in the same spot, but the lobby was deserted. The hands on the clock had spun forward two hours. The daylight outside had shifted to the softer hues of late afternoon. The receptionist looked around in confusion, her heart pounding in her chest. She had no memory of the missing time. It felt as if she had slipped into a dream, then jolted awake. Overwhelmed and disoriented, she ran to the manager's office. He listened to her story, a look of disbelief etched on his face. But the receptionist was not one to spin tales. She was a woman of facts, not fiction. And the fact was, two hours had inexplicably vanished from her day. The manager looked at the CCTV footage. Sure enough, there was a sudden skip in the recording. One moment the receptionist was there, and in the next frame, she was gone. Then, two hours later, she reappeared in the exact same spot, looking visibly shaken. There was no explanation, no logical reason. It was as if time itself had hiccuped. Whispers of the incident started to spread around the hotel. Staff members exchanged nervous glances. Guests looked around uneasily. The atmosphere, once bustling and lively, had turned tense and uneasy. The hotel, a place of refuge and comfort, was suddenly shrouded in mystery. This was just the beginning of the enigma that was to engulf the hotel. As the days went by, the occurrences became more frequent and more disturbing. 
No longer were they isolated incidents, whispers in the dark. The time slips had become a tangible, unsettling reality in the hotel. Guests would step into the elevator and step out into a time years before or after their own. One moment, they'd be in the bustling, disco-infused world of 1979. The next, they were thrust into the Great Depression, or the post-war boom, or even the distant future. The staff, too, were not spared from these temporal anomalies. Maids would enter rooms to clean, only to find themselves in completely different eras. Bellboys would deliver luggage to rooms that seemingly didn't exist, only to find themselves back in the lobby, no memory of how they got there. The guests' reactions varied. Some were thrilled, fascinated by the opportunity to experience different periods of time. Others were terrified, their realities shattered by the inexplicable happenings. The hotel's reputation began to shift. It was no longer just a place to rest your head at night. It had become an unpredictable time machine, its destination unknown. The growing unease was palpable. What started as quirky tales shared over cocktails at the hotel bar had escalated into full-blown panic. Guests started checking out early, their vacations cut short by the fear of the unknown. Yet there were those who checked in, drawn by the allure of the unexplainable. The chance to witness something truly extraordinary. The staff, too, were divided. Some resigned, unable to cope with the escalating chaos. Others, however, remained steadfast, their sense of duty outweighing their fear. They maintained a brave face, attempting to keep operations as normal as possible amidst the growing disorder. The hotel, once a place of respite, had become a hotbed of chaos and confusion. The once grand establishment, known for its elegance and charm, was now at the mercy of an unseen force, its halls echoing with uncertainty and apprehension. The Time Slips Hotel incident of 1979 had begun in earnest, its true extent yet to be uncovered. In an attempt to unravel the mystery, experts were called in. This was not a situation that could be left to the curious or the adventurous. It demanded serious inquiry, scrutiny and scientific rigour. The team of investigators comprised a diverse set of minds, from seasoned detectives with a knack for the unexplained, to quantum physicists who were more at home amidst equations and theories than in the field. Yet they were all bound together by the common thread of curiosity and the burning desire to decipher the bizarre happenings at the Time Slips Hotel. They began by meticulously documenting each reported slip. The data was vast and varied. Some guests reported minor incongruities, like a digital clock flashing the wrong year. Others had more troubling experiences, such as waking up to a hotel room that looked like it was from a different era. As the reports piled up, a pattern began to emerge. The incidents weren't random, they seemed to be concentrated in certain areas of the hotel and occurred more frequently at specific times. But what caused these slips? The investigators were stumped. Parallel to the scientific inquiry, the media had caught wind of the strange happenings. News outlets from around the world descended upon the small town, cameras and microphones in tow, eager to capture a glimpse of the unexplained. The hotel, once a quiet retreat, was now a hotbed of speculation and intrigue. Everyone had a theory, from the scientifically plausible to the wildly fantastical. Meanwhile, the experts proposed several theories of their own. Some suggested a glitch in the space-time continuum, others pointed to previously undiscovered natural phenomena, but none of these theories could be conclusively proven. The evidence was circumstantial at best, and the slips remained an enigma, defying all attempts at rational explanation. Despite their best efforts, the mystery remained unsolved. The Time Slips Hotel incident of 1979 continued to be a puzzle that neither science nor logic could piece together. As the investigation drew to a close, the hotel returned to its usual quiet, leaving behind more questions than answers. The Time Slips Hotel incident of 1979 came to an abrupt end as mysteriously as it had begun. One day, the clock simply started ticking in time with the rest of the world again. No grand conclusion, no climactic event, just the resumption of normalcy, as if the fabric of time itself had decided to mend its own tear. In the wake of these bizarre occurrences, the hotel was left in a state of disquiet. The grandeur of its architecture, once a symbol of elegance and luxury, now concealed the echoes of a time-twisted enigma. The staff found themselves walking through the same corridors but with a newfound wariness, 
as if they were threading through the remnants of a dream they couldn't quite remember. The guests, those transient witnesses to the phenomenon, carried the memory of their experience back into their lives. Some spoke about it freely, filling drawing rooms and public houses with their tales, their voices a mix of fascination and fear. Others held their silence, the incident a secret they chose to lock away, a puzzle piece that didn't quite fit into the jigsaw of their reality. Yet despite the many accounts and anecdotes, the mystery remained largely unexplored, like an old book gathering dust on a forgotten shelf. Questions lingered in the air, unanswered and perhaps unanswerable. Why did the time slips occur? What caused them? Could they happen again? These inquiries danced around like shadows, elusive and unfathomable. Meanwhile, the hotel continued its existence, serving guests, hosting events, its history a ghostly undercurrent beneath its everyday operations. Each flicker of the lights, each creak of the floorboards seemed to whisper of the strange days when time lost its way within its walls. The Time Slips Hotel incident remains one of the most intriguing unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. So, what can we make of this baffling incident? As we delve into the implications of the Time Slips Hotel incident of 1979, we find ourselves grappling with profound questions about the nature of time and reality. Could it be that in certain rare and unexplained circumstances, time as we understand it can malfunction or even loop back on itself? Theories abound, from quantum physics to metaphysical conjectures. Some suggest the hotel was a hotspot for temporal anomalies, while others propose the incident was a mass hallucination, a shared dream, or a psychological response to an unknown stressor. The impact on those involved was profound. The guests and staff who experienced the time slips were forever changed, their perceptions of reality forever altered. Many reported feeling disoriented long after, a sense of being out of sync with the world around them. Whether a trick of the mind or a tear in the fabric of time, the Time Slips Hotel incident continues to captivate and confound us to this day.